When you turn on the TV, the radiant light instantly triggers your endorphins to flood your body with very addictive opiates. You become transfixed. Within 30 seconds, the flicker rate, precisely timed to have this effect, lowers you into a hypnotic alpha state. The same hypnotic state that stage magicians use to make the audience members cluck like chickens or bite into an onion, believing it is an apple. Within 10 minutes, your mind and body start to react to the startle effect. Caused by rapid-fire image sequences, this effect shocks your body into the danger mode. Now in a state of fright, your higher order brain functioning weakens to allow your lower primitive reptilian brain to take over. This inferior part of your brain triggers the flight or fight response, dumping addictive cortisol and adrenaline into your blood. This tenses the body and makes it ready for extreme action, kill or be killed. The groggy higher brain, realizing that there is no real threat, flushes the cortisol and adrenaline from your body. But as you continue to watch, this process happens over and over again. This seesaw, back and forth, flushing and flooding reaction doesn't last long because the higher brain, bored with the repetition of the game, loses interest and checks out. No more flushing. But not the reptilian brain. Unable to differentiate fact from fiction, reality from fantasy, it continues to react by dumping more and more cortisol and adrenaline into your body. As you stare in an opiate-enhanced hypnotic state with your higher brain shut down, unable to subconsciously differentiate the real from the fake, your reptilian brain thrashes about, fighting for survival, trapped in a motionless, zombie-like body gripped with fear, sinking deeper and deeper into the couch cushions. Now you're in the proper state of mind to have the content downloaded. You are now ready to be programmed. Commercial advertising deposits one-third of your viewing content, ensuring that your income will never match your wants. Violence, murder, and depravity flood in and lay the groundwork for fear-based mind control to follow. This process triggers subconscious trauma and launches an irrational need for law, order, and structure, which your cable system happily provides. In sports, enter the referee. In cop shows, the law. Documentaries provide experts, and in news stories, the broadcast media always portrays the government as the only thing that can save you from the terrorists. Or is it the gun owners? Or is it the Russians? You are being programmed not to color outside of the lines. To manipulate your subconscious while fear numbs your awareness, media uses subliminals in sound and image to set your emotional response and put thoughts into your head. Also, symbolic or sigil ideas are plunked into your subconscious to make it obediently react to a language you will never consciously understand, but has control over your mind. So, images that shape your beliefs and will control your actions for the rest of your life are downloaded hour by hour as you watch TV. All this effort and program manipulation brought into your home, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood psychopaths, who have admittedly anything but your best interests or that of your family in mind. The solution and the moral of the story is, don't watch television.